All right, Coach, I'm sure you're glad to be back in the winning column. Just talk about the team's effort tonight. Well, you know, we got off to, to a terrible start again. I think we had a 16-2 run early in the ball game, and and uh, it would have been real easy after coming off of four losses to just shut it down at that point. But I was really proud of our kids because I don't think they ever really panicked. You know, they, they showed a lot of character, and they fought hard and played back in it, and, and uh, by half it closed that gap a little bit. Um, you know, I told them at halftime I felt like if uh, offensively if we just made some shots, uh, you know, that would take care of a whole lot of things and be a little more patient on offense. But the first half we just come down and, and we'd rush and, and turn the ball over and uh, didn't value the possession of the basketball, I didn't think. Uh, defensively, um, they're uh, number 35, just uh, the Scott girl, just had a tremendous first half on us. I think she had uh, – uh, 18 of 25 points or whatever they had at halftime. She had most of them. So we really talked about how we were going to, to give help on her. And I thought we did a better job in the second half of, uh, uh, I mean, she still ended with 31 points uh, and, and did a good job for them. But I thought we did a good job of containing her a little bit better in the second half. Second half, no doubt. That 65% shooting percentage uh, surely helped. Well, you know, if you if you just watched us play in those first six ball games, you would say we're a good shooting ball club. Uh, we shot the ball uh, going into the, our sixth ball game. I think we were leading the conference in three point field goal percentage and like first or second in field goal percentage in general. And then we've just gone through four games where we've been in a slump shooting a basketball. And and I don't care what you do defensively or if the ball doesn't go in the basket, you don't look very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, you could see tonight we struggled a little bit offensively, uh, weren't shooting the ball very well, but then when a couple of shots fell, all of a sudden offense got better. Uh, you know, we uh, carried ourselves a little bit, you know, with a little more confidence and, and it showed up in every part of the game. And, uh, you know, whatever for whatever reason we lost, lost confidence in that stretch, I hope today helped get it back a little bit. How important that is is that as we start Christmas break and you're on the road for so so long now. Well, the kids have been so down, you know. Everybody was so excited about the six and zero start and all that, and then to lose those four games and and two of those games to teams that hadn't won, and we felt like those were games that we should have won, and so they were really down. And I think for us to go into Christmas with a positive attitude and a good mental uh, outlook on it has got to be huge. It gives you a reason to come back and play hard uh, to get ready for those next games after Christmas. And, and I'm telling you, that stretch we have after Christmas with uh, uh, seven games, I think it is, bef before we're back home again, uh, it, that can make and break you. And, and uh, I think this, this will help keep us up mentally for that.